Now, this painting has been in my family for decades. I hear tell it belonged to a, a woman who was married to a famous painter, Robert S. Duncanson, who lived right here in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Now, I hear that Duncanson went crazy and died hanging this very painting. Mm -hmm. Said he had lead poisoning and he thought he was possessed by some spirits that was doing the painting for him. Well, when he died because it happened so sudden, he left his wife and his daughter to fend for they sell. Now, they ain't had not enough money to go to the grocery store, let alone to be really living the rest of their lives. So the wife took to using the patents as collateral to try to get loan money from the townspeople where she lived. And see, now, now, now that's where my family come in, you see, because my grandfather and my grandmother were, were part of them town folk that she was asking money from. And she must have gave them this here patent for the money that they loaned her. But she must not have paid them back because <laughs> this, family, this patent been in my family ever since. Huh? <laughs> oh, my Miss Moore, what a beautiful landscape. <laughs> and what an amazing story. How much do you think that it's worth? <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's why I'm here. I was hoping y'all could tell me. <laughs> This point, idea has only been visible to the artist. So that changes when idea enters and sits down, the artist's cushion. Idea is dressed in black and wears a pair of stylish glasses. I will be a poet. Although, I'll talk a little bit about my philosophy. So, first I wanted to say, before I, should, before I give you feedback, I should have said, every artist is, you, you're responsible for nurturing and birthing your ideas. And though everyone um, tries to enter the delivery room to help you, you have to push. <laughs> And sometimes you don't need all those people. And you have to remember uh, what it is you're trying to get at and take all of the feedback that you're receiving with that in mind. Like, what is it about what this person said that's going to help me get to what I'm trying to get to? Um, otherwise, people can take you in all kinds of directions with your, with your work. Um, so I guess you that. Thing, um, like what encourages you to write about stuff? I trust my emotional life. I believe that um, our emotions are signposts that tell us that we are deeply connected to something in some way. And I guess one of the greatest lessons that I learned is that there is no yellow brick road to artistry. There are lots of institutions that can help you, but ultimately you have to pick up the machete and carve your own path at some point. And the, at the extent to which our industries change in the last 10 years ago is vastly different than it is today and vastly different than it was 50 years ago. You have to know more, you have to do more, you have to be more versatile, you have to be able to apply for grants and write and communicate with people and tell them your ideas so that they'll fund your work. You have to be able to, to think creatively, like if you can't get a funder, how are you gonna fund your work? Are you just not going to do it? You have to be a hustler. You must be a hustler. You must. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. You have to build your own audience base. You have to stay connected to them. You have to offer them content that they like so that they keep coming. You have to be a hustler. You can't just sit back and wait for somebody to give you a job if you think you're gonna be a full-time artist, period. No one's gonna employ you like that. They're not even gonna give you health insurance like that. And that's See real. what it makes you feel like doing back to them, right? So I'm gonna do my thing. When you think you know what I'm doing, mm -hmm. just kind of lift a hand or something. I'll kind of stop doing what I'm doing and you can do to me the verb that you have chosen in response to what I did to you. Got it, you wanna see it? Um, you have so much potential. I see it every time that I look at you and I see you growing. Thank you for saying that. I can't believe you would say that to me. I mean, I've been in your class for how long? And this is incredible. You have to become, you have to embody. You can't represent. You become, you don't represent, right?